Hey, I'm Hannah Weiss, the Director of Education at the Science Museum of Western Virginia, and this is your Moment of STEM. And this week, we're going to talk about a famous woman in STEM history. You see, we're in the middle of March, and March is Women's History Month. But also, really awesomely, around the day that this goes up is March 8th which is International Women's Day. So I thought it would be wonderful to celebrate some women in science history. However, when doing research, I found that a lot of sources, a lot of sites, seem to start the history of women in science with Marie Curie. And though she was incredibly important, she's not the only or even the first woman in science. In fact, the earliest recorded woman in STEM history, so the earliest recorded woman in a STEM field, is in ancient Egypt in 2700 BCE. She was a physician named Mirit Ptah. Now, we don't know much about her because that was an incredibly long time ago and there aren't a lot of records. But we do know from an inscription left by her son that she was a chief physician, meaning that she probably trained a number of both female and male physicians and may have even worked with the ruler at the time. So in ancient Egypt, women were allowed to be doctors. And Mirat Ptah was very likely one of the first women that worked in a field that we would recognize as science. She was even honored by the IAU with a crater named after her on Venus. Now, as I said, there's not a lot of information about her, but if you'd like to dig a little deeper into any of the sources that I found, you can check out the links below. Otherwise, I'm Hannah Weiss from the Science Museum of Western Virginia. And did you know that all of the craters on Venus are named after women? And there are a ton of people on that list that I'd never even heard of before.